Okay, so we're getting ready to take it out, and I realized, yeah, I don't have any of the screws in any of the lights right now. Heck, my lights aren't even all the way in the car. So we're going to do that right now. Try to get these back in. Can't quite see to line it up. I think the 10 mils. I feel like that is not in the right spot. I believe it is. It's in there, but it doesn't seem like it grabbed much. It was in when it started. That top one here. Kids make me think that one's not quite far enough back. But I don't have a lot of light right there. Oh, you know what? I bet I put the wrong bolt in there. That's where my issue's coming in. There's two different style bolts. Is that one? Or are they different? Oh, there is. Actually, that's the wrong one. There's two different styles. So, for the top mount, it's going to be the pointed, pointed one. And then for your front mounts will be these. I think I might have one in the wrong place on the other side. Let's get that started. Okay. 10? Hoping that's a 10. Come on, be a 10. Heck yeah. Look at that. Gotta loosen it up just a hair until I get these two set. We're just going to test run it up to the store. Pretty sure I got these right. Just for memory. Remember, we got two different types of screws. Bolts. I guess bolty screw. Okay, that's all of those back together. Good to go. We'll work our way around the car. Um, the only other thing I would like to do is grab the keys and switch those tail lights out. We're also going to need to check and see if we end up with better coloration it's gonna take just a minute i think we'll do so we'll place this side first and that side i may just leave for right now till we get back and that's so i can uh, reinstall it and then let the sealer set up because if you remember correctly the mount on the actual screw in housing piece broke and I'm going to try to pick one of those up at the junkyard. Uh, I just stopped today so I'm glad because that reminded me I needed that and I totally forgot I needed it. And the other thing we need is more light. I don't have any lights out here. I don't think my headset, but man, I don't have my batteries for my headset. I don't have anything out here actually. Almost got not uh, Nada, nada. That's not going to work. It's going to do the power one, but I can't use it right this second. But I think I can do this maybe without light. We're going to try. This will be the third time using this piece of electrical tape. So pretty soon we're going to need a new piece. Okay. 
Now, moment of truth. This is a pain in the butt to get off. What I had to do last time, and I did grease it, I still had to get a paint scraper. And you want a paint scraper that is pretty stout. Let's see what I did with that thing. And a towel. So there's two things you want. Paint scraper and a towel. Let's see. Paint scraper and a towel. I want that towel. This towel will work fine. I've been using the little painter's tape. The only thing we're going to need, though, is to figure out where that paint scraper bag is at. I move tools back and forth and around and around. Uh, no, no, no. Paint scrapers. Where might our paint scrapers be? The bag was over here. It's a tan looking bag. I swear it's none of the bags that I currently see up here. I'm certain it is. I'm certain it's not this bag, but we're going to look to eliminate it. No, no, no. No paint scrapers. Okay. Oh, no. Come on. Paint scraper bag. Weird. Um. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There's two bags here. Let's see. That one. This is a very stiff blade. I can barely, I can't bend it side to side hardly at all. And that's what you want. You don't want one that gives because it's gonna end up giving. And then right here, I would get above or below that point if you can. And you're probably only gonna get a single piece in there. Make sure you're all the way in, okay. And I'm going to lift, but I'm also pulling. And I'm actually going to be pulling more than lifting because if you do it the opposite way around, it's going to pop. Now, that was not bad to get out. Now, you're replacing the red because this one ended up being white. And the white is definitely not as good as the red as far as I think the look's gonna be. I thought the white would be brighter and then I thought with the red lens, this is gonna be perfect. What I ended up getting is a lens that looks more yellowish and I'm gonna cut the base side open so I don't have to touch it. Just don't have gloves on. And I'm just gonna grab the bulb in the packaging, hold it and stick it in and i think before we do anything we're gonna check and make sure this bulb lights up Let's see if i can hang that what i'm trying to do is keep this bulb out where i can see it i'm doing this because leds are directional sometimes so before you install them you want to see if they're working that way. If they're not, you can just flip them over. Okay. And that looks good. I guess I should step on our brake for us. Now, I wanted the bulbs that when you step on the brake, they blink three times and then they light up. Uh, and I think I ended up with those bulbs or the possibility of those bulbs, and they, they won't work on this vehicle. Okay. So, I'm going to show you the difference. So you can kind of see why I'm swapping them out for yourself. But yeah, before I do that, you're going to have to wait just a minute. I want to finish getting this light back in, shut the tailgate, 
And then you can kind of see all the lights together. I don't think I'm in all the way yet. I wasn't. Got to get that pop. And that pop was pretty hard if you heard it. Which is why these are so difficult to get in and out. But when your clips start to pop or break, if you break a clip, you can get them at the auto parts store. And they'll just push in to the metal on the car. It's just a little plastic piece. Okay. I'm finishing this one up because it's completely finished technically. Technically. We're gonna move our stuff so we can do the other side when we get back, but I'm not gonna do it till we get back. So let's turn our light off. Okay. You can see how red, and then kind of you can see kind of it's pinkish. And then this side's definitely pinkish. So by changing to red, red, and red, that then is going to get everything across the board red, and I should be good. I just don't like that pink. And I love the yellow light, so my replacement LEDs for the car are gonna be all yellow, which should be awesome. Uh, we're gonna start the car and let it warm up. Now, I believe the alternator itself is 100% fine. I just believe we had a bad battery, but we'll be testing the car long enough that if there is an issue, it'll get replaced before the new owner gets it. Okay, I'm gonna lock that door. I'm just gonna lock the doors open and we'll test run it to the store to get tomato juice. I forgot to get tomato juice. Yeah, I did actually. 100% forgot. What are we pushing on? Oh, the trash bag. The trash bag. The trash bag. Okay, so I'm not putting any more of the dash together till the rest of the dash lights show up tomorrow. Now, no lights on. So I just want you to kind of see this, and I'm gonna see if it's showing up in the camera for you guys. Okay. Really doesn't show up well. 